Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about another basic concept in Mayo and Taxes 3.0 and today we are looking at executive authority, ruler authority, institutional authority and executive power. I did a previous video on this but consider this an update because that one was incomplete. So there are these five different uh, things about your government. This mechanic is not fully fleshed out, but you do need to somewhat understand it because it's important for certain reforms. So <clears throat> here we are in the great hand. We can see that we have a ruler impact of 50% because we have a ruler authority of 50 and an institutional authority of 50. What that means is that 50% of our executive power is coming from our ruler's stats and 50% is coming from our institutions. Your institutions act like a ruler with four, four, four stats. So as you can see, we only have one monarch point in military skill, but our actual executive power is three in the military, which means that we will be gaining three from our... Uh, so we got two from military skill and two from executive authority. So we're actually getting three from our kind of you know, from our executive, not merely from our ruler. That's how ruler impact works. It depends on uh, a few factors. There are very few things that actually impact this at the moment. There's a couple of idea groups, which I believe are actually the only things, but that may change in the future. So if you're watching this at some point more distant in the future, I expect this mechanic is going to become significantly more fleshed out. Note that this 50-50 is not a ratio, so it's not like if you get five more ruler authority, you lose five institutional authority. The actual amount you'll get from each is based on the percentage, which is calculated as between, you know, the ratio between the two, which in this case is, you know, one to one, 50%. So executive power, why does executive power matter? Executive power matters because it gives you a certain degree of authority. In this case, you can see that we have 72.2% authority. That's because we're making 30, we have a 13 executive power. The maximum executive power you can have is 18. That's a 666. Uh, it's not actually possible, as far as I know, to get a 666 executive power right now because that would require 100% ruler authority and a 666 ruler, which at the moment can't be done. But authority matters because there are certain reforms which are locked behind executive authority. It's not super clear in this tooltip, which is why I missed this <laughs> on the first video. But basically, there is one ref at the moment, and this may change in the future, of course, but at the moment, I believe there is only one reform that this matters for. It's the examination reform. And for that, you have to have 60% authority. What that means is that you need to have 60% of the possible 18 executive power. What that means in practice is that you need to have an executive power of 11. It's 10.8, but of course, monarch points are integers, and so it's got to be 11. That What that means you need in terms of the quality of your ruler in order to be able to get enough authority to pass that reform is going to change based on your ruler impact. So if your ruler impact is 50, for example, the maths is at least a little bit simpler because you're going to be getting half of the monarch points your ruler gives and half of the monarch points your institutions give. Remember, your institution is a 444, half of that, 222, two, two, that's 6, which means in order to get to an 11, you're going to need an additional 5 points. And remember, you're getting half of the monarch points from your ruler, which means you're going to need a 10 monarch point ruler in order to be able to get the 60% authority required for the examination reform. There are, in the future, going to be lots of other things that make this more interesting and, and change how it works. Now, there's one other mechanic that's worth mentioning here, which is power void. Power void is state corruption, which comes from the difference between your actual executive authority and your possible maximum executive authority. So when you have a crappy ruler or when you have uh, you know, powerful institutions that are less good than your ruler could be, things like that, you get more power void and more corruption. I hope that makes sense and it's a little bit more thorough going into uh, rural authority, institutional authority, executive power and executive authority. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.